Joining us now with more on that and the state of housing in 2023, Jay Farner is vice chair and CEO. Jay, it's great to have you here. Welcome. Yeah, well, or, uh, happy holidays. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So the unique thing about what you guys are offering is you're actually paying people. Is that right to uh, contract to do these buy downs? How does this work? Well, we launched our Inflation Buster program a few months ago to help clients who are still wanting to buy a home, especially in the first year. You know, you buy a home, there's some uh, fix-up that you might want to do, you've got to purchase furniture, there's a moving cost, and so giving them a slight break on their mortgage payment in that first year, we thought would really uh, help move uh, buyers along, uh, but they're getting... Uh, approved on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, and for the next 29 years, they're locked, uh, locked into a fixed rate. So a program to help you get into a new home, but still a great, safe program for clients. Tell me, it's such an interesting time to be steering this company. On the one hand, you can try to go more into fintech or other kinds of spaces to diversify, but then that raises your expenses. It has uncertain execution risk. Or you stick with your bread and butter mortgages, try to reduce costs, maybe wait out the cycle a little bit. What's your thought process? Yeah, great question. Uh, really shows how, how you're thinking about the space. I think we're really one of the only companies making significant technology investment right now to change the game. If you think about our business, uh, you can view it as a transactional business. There's the cost to acquire the client, and then there's the lifetime value of the client. The greater the lifetime value, the lower the cost, the more you can grow market share. And so for us, when we think about Rocket Money, the new purchase plan that we've rolled out, our Rocket Dashboard, these are all technology tools that allow us to bring clients in, keep them engaged, whether it takes five months, 10 months, two years to buy a home, we can confidently market, we can grow market share, uh, but that means we've got to continue to invest. Lucky for us, we've had some great years. Uh, we're very smart about our balance sheet, and so we've got the cash to make these investments. And so how long, so what, what should we expect from Rocket in the next couple of years? More initiatives to diversify or more ways of using that cash to try and steal whatever customers are in the pot right now for mortgages to make sure that they are going to be Rocket customers? Yeah, look, I think 2023, we're going to continue to see uh, elevated interest rates. So the market went, uh, may be closer to a one and a half, two $2 trillion mortgage market. That's okay. With the initiatives that we're rolling out, we'll see increased conversion. We'll grow market share as we see other people continue to pull back. So I think 23 is a really strategic year for us. Then we get into 24, 25. We see some relief in interest rates, and all these great investments will really pay off uh, as we continue to grow, uh, grow our market share and engage with our retail clients across all 50 states. And your app has been a calling card. We all obviously well aware of the commercials and, and the publicity that, that that's garnered and the success that it's had. But some say a better approach in the long run might be to have a lot more local presence uh, to work on the ground closer to where those you know home buyers are helping them through those mortgage decisions. Have you thought about that? It seems like now would be probably the wrong time to, to increase you know, uh, headcount at scale. But are you going to stick with the approach that we've seen so far? Yeah, what you're talking about is what do buyers need? What do sellers need? So we've got Rocket Money. We've got Rocket Homes. It's about bringing value to those consumers. Now, traditionally, one way that people are able to do that is be on the ground. But what we found is with technology, with our apps and so forth, we can deliver a better purchase experience than anyone else. And that's what you're going to see us do in 2023. Uh, all of our team members, all of our technology, all of our product strategy group, our marketing group focused on making sure that we close loans faster, that our approvals are the best ones out there, and that we become the largest purchase lender in this country. So we've demonstrated that for uh, almost 37 years now, that we can continue to grow from a centralized position. And you'll see us lean in and continue to do that as we go forward. What, what do you say? I mean, you're, you're coming into Christmas time, holidays, and I'm sure people are just going to be asking you, like, Jay, what's going to happen with the housing market? Are, are prices going to drop? Am I going to get a great deal? You know, what? I, I'm just curious, kind of, you are on the front lines of this, and this is the front lines for the rest of us in terms of where the economy is going. Yeah. And are we just in a deep freeze or, or what? How would you describe conditions? And where are the opportunities for maybe homeowners and those who are still on the sidelines? I think things will pick up a bit in the spring. I'll tell you, Inventory, and we talked about it, I, I heard your, uh, your reporter here just before I got on, inventory is the biggest issue. There are still first-time homebuyers out there. We're the, we're the largest lender to first-time homebuyers who want to purchase a home. Yeah. They can't find one. Why aren't people moving up? Well, they've got tons of equity in their, in their property today, so they've got that, that money to do the down payment, but what they're not wanting to do is take on that larger mortgage payment. And for the last few years, they've been able to move up and actually have the same or reduced mortgage payment. Right. Now that rates have gone up, that's slowing down the second and third time home buyers. You, you heard some people doing cash right now. We need to see 
those second and third time home buyers start to get back in the market, creating Turnover. more inventory, and then the first time home buyers can jump in. Is there anything a company like Rocket can do, you know, to make that happen? Well, you're going to see some uh, in initiatives from us in the spring that will allow people to save even more money when they're buying and selling homes, and I think that will allow us to grow that purchase market share. Very interesting, and maybe a, a solution or a help uh, for the whole space while you're at it. Jay, thanks for your time today. We appreciate it.